T-minus 14 seconds, the rofies, which look like sparklers, ignite to burn off excess hydrogen injected into the flame duct. Rofi ignition is followed by ignition of the starboard Delta IV RS-68A engine at T-minus 7 seconds. Two seconds later, the center and port RS-68A engines ignite, generating more than 2.1 million pounds of total thrust to lift the rocket off the pad. This staggered engine start mitigates the fireball created by the hydrogen-burning Delta IV Heavy. Shortly after liftoff, Delta IV begins a pitchover to attain the proper flight path while minimizing the pressure the vehicle experiences during flight. The Delta IV reaches Mach 1, the speed of sound, at 1 minute 18 seconds. Two seconds later, the rocket experiences maximum dynamic pressure as it travels through Earth's atmosphere. At 3 minutes 56 seconds, the port and starboard booster engine shut down. Two seconds later, the port and starboard boosters are jettisoned. The center booster engine then throttles to full power to maximize performance. Approaching main engine cutoff, Delta IV is traveling at more than 24,753 kilometers, or 15,381 miles per hour, is located 111 kilometers, or 69 miles in altitude, and is 586 kilometers, or 364 miles downrange. At 5 minutes 36 seconds, propellant levels deplete and the booster engine shuts down. Seven seconds later, the Delta IV separation system activates to release the first stage. The vehicle now weighs a little more than 5% of what it did at liftoff. At 5 minutes 56 seconds, the Delta cryogenic second stage main engine burn begins. During ascent, NROL-44 is protected inside a 5-meter diameter tri-sector payload fairing. At approximately 6 minutes 38 seconds, the payload fairing is jettisoned. Delta IV continues its national security mission following payload fairing jettison.